Hi folks, this is Donnie D. I uh, want to make a quick video. Uh, show, I don't know how quick it'll be, but anyway, <clears throat> showing you the three uh, methods that I use to make my orange crusher type clays. Uh, anybody that's unfamiliar with them, I've got other videos on, but I thought I'd put all three methods uh, on one video and let you decide uh, which way you like the best or which way or ways you want to do it. I use all three just depends on my mood I guess but first of all let me explain to people who have never been here I don't make the clays themselves I just buy these white flyers or the champions or whatever and and turn them into orange crusher type or flash clays I'm going to show you three different methods and the first method I want to show you is the tape method it's probably the method that I use uh, more than the others so basically what you need is the, the clay itself, some duct tape or packing tape or whatever type of tape you prefer to use. I prefer to use uh, duct tape. The only reason I use the orange is that the, um, the clay itself is orange and if you were to buy orange crusher clays and they're very hard to find, kind of hard to get, kind of, they're about four to five times more expensive than the standard clays, uh, they would have a little orange film over the um, of the powder or well but anyway you take uh, your clay and normally I would make about six at, at, at a time six to ten at a time I'm just gonna make one of each type today just to show you but what you do is you take your uh, orange uh, builders chalk and or you can use blue red doesn't matter what color you use whatever you can get your hands on uh, orange is the best to me it just I can see it better than any other color and you put some in your well about a tablespoonful or maybe a little more and what I would normally do is say I'm doing six I'd go ahead and put the chalk into six of them after you get the chalk in them just kind of give them a little bit of a tap uh, and the amount you put in is up to you but it doesn't seem if you put what I've got in there or maybe a little more uh, that's plenty. Uh, filling it completely up doesn't seem to make any difference as to how well it flashes. Next thing you want to do is you want to tear off a piece of tape. Keep in mind I'm running my mouth as I make these things so it doesn't take quite as long, it takes longer to explain how to do it and show how to do it than it does just sit down and do them. And as I put the tape on I'll take my thumb and around this rim I'll kind of burnish, burnish it in to make it stick better. another piece of tape and if somebody can come up with something better than the tape maybe some kind of uh, sticky paper film that you can put it all on at one one when in one piece let me know please and if anybody can find the orange crusher clays uh, somewhere that's uh, uh, got a good price on them and are easy to find hey I just assume buy them is to uh, to take the time to make them if I could just find them and and uh, if the price won't too too bad all right, again, what I would do if, say, I'm making six, eight, or ten, something like that, I'd go ahead and put the tape on, as you see it, uh, on all, all of them before I did anything else. Now, you can leave them like this, but I've always, I was always afraid that uh, if I left them like this, they might hang up in my trap if I leave that extra tape on it. So what I do, let me get my knife, I forgot that. What I do is I just go ahead and, and right, take a razor knife and, and turn it right around this rim here, right on the outside edge of that rim. And I'll do all six of them, or eight. And then after I'm through trimming them all like that, just grab a hold of the excess tape and tear it off. Makes a better looking play and uh, you don't have to worry about them hanging up on each other on the trap. All right, that's what you need for the uh, tape method. Set that off to the side. <clears throat> the next method I'm going to show you is the uh, what I call the slurry method. What you'll need for that is your chalk again, some sort of a little cup. I'm using something that I find in my wife's stuff there. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of tape on it because it's got a stinking hole in it. Don't tell her, I'll put it back where I find it when I get through after I wash it. Just a cap off of some kind of hair crap. <clears throat> anyway, you'll need a, your clays, chalk again, some alcohol, some kind of a little mixing cup, a little Dixie cup, whatever you want to use. 
and uh, something to stir it with. Uh, use just a screwdriver or a stick or anything like that. I recommend using, uh, you can use any rubbing alcohol you want, but I try to use the 70% or higher alcohol rate because it's got more alcohol to water, so it evaporates a lot quicker and dries a lot quicker and probably in the, and it makes the chalk stay more powdery than it does. You can actually make them with water, but it takes a lot longer for them to dry out and to dry out well if you use water. The alcohol works great and this stuff is dirt cheap, so that's what I use. But anyway, again, I would probably make uh, six or eight or more at the time and you could, should be able to mix up enough. You'll not learn how as you mix it uh, to see how much powder and alcohol you need to get enough slurry for however many you're going to make. I'm just using this little bitty cup, but you can use a much larger cup. Mix up uh, the amount that you need and then go from there. I'll show you what to do from there. But for, for this clay, I'm just going to put a little bit in here. And you'll put per clay about the same amount that I just put in there for the, uh, for the tape uh, type. I'm about to run out of chalk here so bear with me takes a little longer when it starts getting empty again put enough powder in there to do however many clays you're going to do then you'll just pour in a bit of alcohol until it, you get something like a, a, a kind of a loose slurry and stir it up with this and again once you mix this slurry up you can make uh, a whole bunch of them at one time this is definitely the quickest method to make them. But anyway, you stir up your slurry, mix it up good. And if you're going to make more than one at a time, uh, which I would recommend making six, eight, ten at a time, uh, as you're pouring it in, you'll have enough made up in the cup to do however many you're going to do. But after each two or three that you're pouring, go ahead and stir this stuff up again because the the alcohol the uh excuse me the chalk will uh settle into, into the alcohol real quick and you want to keep it mixed up good so now once you stir it up and mix it you just simply pour it right into your clay and then you pour the next one and the next one and maybe stir it a little bit and then finish pouring the rest of them and of course this is sitting here it won't take but a few minutes for it to get this way it's stiff enough the way you can turn them upside down but you probably need to let them go at least till the next day. Say you're making them this time of day or even later in the day. It's about, uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, these will definitely be ready to use tomorrow morning sometime. Even if you make them at night, say 8 or 9 o'clock at night, they should be ready to go by the middle of the morning the next day. They should be dried out, especially if you use the, the uh, higher percent alcohol. But that's how you make that method of them. Pretty simple and easy. Set this over here out of the way. And finally, probably the quickest, actually the quickest method, I hope I got enough chalk to show you because I'm just about out, is uh, what I call the uh, adhesive or the glue method, whatever, and you'll need <coughs> chalk again, clays again, and again you can make, probably you could probably make 25 or 30 or more at the time, uh, all you want because of the way this method works. You could just make a whole bunch of them at one pop uh, or at each, each uh, time, is what I'm saying. And one more thing I like to use, I made this little gizmo here, and the only purpose of this is we're going to be spraying glue over top of the chalk. This just kind of, you kind of move it around, just kind of keeps the glue from getting all over the clay because that stuff never really dries completely, and it's possible that it could cause the, your clays to stick together depending on what type of trap you're using. But again, you want to, just like in the tape method, you want to put the chalk in the well. however much you want to use about this much or more is, is fine maybe a little bit more I like to run out there gotta go to town get me some more chalk alright once you get the chalk in there give her a tap like I said take the cap off of your uh, spray adhesive and this brand seems to work just fine it's just 3M general purpose 45 whatever that means uh, spray adhesive. Uh, if you get a brand and it sprays out really hard, it'll just blow your powder all over the place. You may want to just use that for something else and, and try a different brand. This seems to spray pretty easily. So I lay this over here and I just start spraying the uh, uh, adhesive over it until it starts to stick up a little bit. There you go. There you go. The easier it sprays, the better. It will eventually form a little crust.
and that crust will harden up and that will seal your chalk in and it'll dry out. and there you go and it should be ready probably this stuff will probably dry in a couple of hours I've never timed it I'm not really sure but uh, it'll work really good and it's the quickest and easiest method to do them. And uh, that'll hold, a, as you can see, it's already holding the chalk in place pretty good. Whoops, that one slipped a little bit. Got a little bit ahead of myself on that one. But anyway, it'll eventually uh, dry in about an hour or two, and you'll have clays ready to go. Um, this method is the quickest, uh, the quickest method to make them and easiest. It's my least favorite because sometimes the, uh, I think this glue is getting old. Normally it goes on much smoother than that. Uh, but sometimes the, the glue will, uh, as you throw on them, it'll, it'll uh, cause the uh, powder to give way or break loose a little prematurely. Uh, this way is probably the easiest method, the slurry method. Only problem with it is you do have to wait overnight. Uh, it's about as quick as, almost as quick as this method, but you do have to wait maybe 10, 12 hours for it to, to dry and set up. And the, the good thing about the tape method is that uh, once you make them, um, you can go and shoot them, but they are probably about twice as labor intensive as either of the other two methods. It does take a while to make them, but you can shoot them as soon as you make them and they work great. But all three methods work just fine. Um, again, this one it takes a little while to make them, but you can use them immediately. This method is they're quicker to make, but you do have to wait overnight. And with these, they're probably the quickest to make, but you do have to still wait a couple of hours uh, for the glue to set up. But anyway, that's the three methods I prefer. This is the method, for some reason, I use the most. This is probably the method I use next. I rarely use this method, but it does work, uh, and it's quick. But anyway, uh, for Donnie D's uh, homemade orange cl crusher type clays, I uh, just want to give you all three methods in a quick video. For now, this is Donnie D, and I'll see you later. Bye.